what's going on everybody clickwood here back again bringing you guys some madden 16 ultimate team content today guys we are headed to the playoffs our very first playoff game here we're currently undefeated on the season have not even really come close to losing at this point we're moving the ball very effectively through the air on the ground playing good defense and we're gonna get things started here on the ground the usual, the quick toss, working pretty effectively on the first play of the game, picking up about seven there, and we're going to go back to it here on second down to the opposite side, picking up the remainder of the first down, barely got taken down there, could have been a little bit bigger of a game, but we gained seven. Uh-oh, retard alert! Now, first pass of the game, oh my goodness, dude, what? What? Are you serious? That quarterback played that perfectly. Just perfectly. I, I You rarely see a cornerback step up and make that play in this game this year. Usually the flats, as most of you guys know, are pretty safe in Madden 16 Ultimate Team. Now, that's not to say that you can't throw interceptions, but usually it's probably the safest play that you can really do in terms of passing. Even if the guy's covered, usually it just ends up being an incompletion. But man, we are already down 7 to nothing here very early in this game and that is not a good start that is not what we were hoping for but we're moving the ball here through the air joe horn picking up a nice first down there we hit brian finner on a couple plays before that and then right here oh my goodness we had a chance there travis kelsey was open we could have broken that for a touchdown but unfortunately was incomplete but the very next play dre archer is going to take the quick toss and he gets around the edge and into the end zone so we tie this thing up it could have been a lot worse definitely could have been a lot worse if we would have not scored on that drive but we tie it up my opponent is going to get the ball at halftime so it's not an ideal situation we're hoping to get some more points here here before the end of the first half but to look at my opponent here could have thrown that screen pass and probably picked up a little bit of yardage at least but uh he decided to take off there with bridgewater and he got sacked so it brings up a third and seven he's going to go down again here brings up now a fourth and 17 no idea why he decided to go for this but we are gonna swat it away glover quinn there making a big play for us there on fourth down so now we have the ball back and Dre archer back to back plays where he touches the ball and gets into the end zone so we've now got a lead here and my opponent's going back to the screen pass here nice little juke there from him very very close to losing yardage on that one but hey Got to give him the credit. He made the nice user play. And he's going back to the deep ball here again. But again, same exact result as last time. Glover Quinn swatting that one down. Big play by him. Brings up a third and four. And we again take him down. And again, guys, we're in another fourth down. Now my opponent's going to throw another screen pass here. And we stop it. So we're taking over again on downs. This should be an easy touchdown here, right? Nope. My opponent committed on the run. And still his cornerback had the awareness to intercept it. And, oh, thankfully, we've got Dre Archer. He scored two touchdowns already. Made a game-saving, potentially, tackle right there, guys. Stopping him from getting into the end zone. My opponent still got a chance here to score, though, before the end of the first half. Three minutes left, actually, in the first half. So we should get the ball back pretty much here either way. Now, he is going to throw this one. A nice completion there to his tight end. First and goal here. Taking the ball up the middle. Big stop there. John Randall, I think that was filled up the gap there and he was not able to get out of the backfield so it's second and goal here and he's going back to the passing game throwing this one directly at my safety but he does not get the interception unfortunate situation there but we're still looking pretty good here third and goal we've got a qb spy here on bridgewater we do not want him taken off and he's going to throw this one directly into double coverage should have been intercepted there but it wasn't his guys get interceptions when he freaking commits on the run but what are you going to do man whatever Fourth down, though, we do stop. We do hold him to a field goal. Good situation for us here. About a minute, 45 seconds left or so before the end of the first half. And we're going to find Joe Horn here on a simple drag route. And he's going to pick up good yardage, step out of bounds. And we've still got a minute and 24 seconds left before the end of the first half. Now it's time to take a shot here. Going up deep. Brian Finneran catches it, breaks the tackle, and he is gone, ladies and gentlemen. 21 to 10. He's going to high step into the end zone. Let him hear about it, Brian Finneran. That's right, baby. That's how we do. I don't go deep very often, but when I do, I'm happy to have that type of result. Now, my opponent's trying to go deep here, still trying to throw it into coverage here. We've got two or three guys on him just about every single time. And now... Second and 10, he's going to try and take off here again with Teddy Bridgewater. And man, he gets out of bounds. Very, very close to laying him out there. And that would have been a huge game changer if we would have forced a fumble. But first and 10, and he's running it again with Bridgewater. And this time, he is going to fumble. And we are recovering it, guys. We've got a chance here to potentially go up three scores before the end of the first half. 
Time to get the ball back into Tree Archer's hands. We've got the blocking developing here, and that is not the video. That is what happened on the game, guys. We've got a frozen screen. So what's going to happen here? It could be one of two situations, right? It's either going to fix itself and we're going to get back into the game and get this W, or this is going to happen. The connection to your peer has been lost. Very, very shitty. This is an awful situation, guys, because guess what? Despite the fact that we were up 11, it's not going to matter here. It is simply not going to matter. We end up losing that game, according to Mutt. Crazy, crazy stuff, man. It's so frustrating. You get out into a lead. You get a two-score lead. You could have made it three scores. And now you get the w, you get the L when you should have had the W. That's Madden 16 for you this year, man. It's like, I, I can't tell you how many times people have told me that they've had connection problems with this game. And it just continues to happen. It's unfortunate this is our first loss in Madden 16 Ultimate Team, and it came because of a connection lossage. Now, I will say one thing, guys, before you say, you probably dropped the internet connection. No, I did not drop my internet connection. I was actually in a Skype chat with Ryan, London, Chase, a whole bunch of different people. Never lost internet connection. I was talking to them the whole time that that screen was going up where uh, it was frozen. And it's just an unfortunate situation, man. So we are going to end up getting the loss here. Season over. But we're coming back with another season, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Hey, guys. If you're enjoying my videos, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on the right side of your screen right now. Otherwise, you can always check out my previous video by clicking on the left side of the screen. Thank you guys again.